Okay, now I wanted to cover one other plugin that you can use if you choose not to use, like I said, the universal online real-time Yoast optimizer, and you still have WordPress, but you want a plugin that's a little different. Maybe you just have some bad run-ins, I don't know, with Yoast, everyone has a story. If that's the case, the secondary backup plugin that I would talk about is what I call all-in-one SEO pack, and it truly is pretty good. It's just basically like Yoast. I would say it was its clone. Yoast came first, then all-in-one SEO pack came. Of course, they wanted to try and monetize it much more than Yoast did. Yoast wanted to become more of a consultancy agency, so it pushed out a lot of cool free tools, whereas all-in-one pack worked on just the plugin becoming a business or a monetization for their firm and company. So it's kind of, you know, you gotta take each one with a grain of salt. Um, obviously, Yoast is gonna offer the most upfront, but it's not going to always have that paid feature where, you know, hey, maybe there is some special awesome things that they're building inside because they're getting paid to do what they are offering for you. So it's kind of like I talked about with ideas of paying a monthly residual for people, you know, why should I pay for ClickFunnels versus a one-time funnel builder? Well, ClickFunnels is always improving, right? It's always that idea that when you pay for something, you're gonna get more, people will invest more into it. The exact same scenario here. So if you do end up upgrading to the pro version, it doesn't cost too much, but again, do be known that the upgrade is most often suggested. And again, it's only gonna be for a single site at a time. You can use multiple sites if, of course, you are running a business, e-commerce, you have multiple uh, websites that's so gonna cost you a hundred so that's why I talk about Yoast most often focus everything on Yoast but all in one SEO pack is just about the same you're gonna have very similar titles and let me go ahead and just go ahead and rip them for you so that way we don't have to do anything at all so there we have that we're gonna rip the meta description And that's exactly where a preview snippet will look like. So again, that's what most of it's going to end up looking like. The only thing is, is that until you upgrade to the pro version, it's not gonna let you know if what you did was good, bad, neutral, or anything in between. It's just going to give you a snippet preview, which there's a thousand websites out there, if you just type in snippet preview, that will do that for free for you. So that's why I love Yoast because it's free out the gate and it's gonna tell you how well you optimized your blog uh, or your post. Whereas with all-in-one SEO, you have to pay to learn. And that's why I don't cover it too often, but for those of you who did ask, that is what's available for you if you enjoy those kinds of paid features inside your website.